Let's record. Right on set. All you right. hear that upstairs neighbors? Shut up. <laughs> Hello everybody! Welcome to another quiz today. Today we've got an empty space. Why could that be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna murder us! <laughs> right away! Oh my god! <laughs> we have a special guest today. His name is Kay. Just like the letter. <laughs> you might recognize him from our last video if you watched it. Wink wink. Today, we're going to be doing a beverage quiz. <laughs> right here, I've got a list of 40 beverages. You guys want to get started? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. First off on our list is water. Water? How much do you like water? Who drinks water? Go ahead is and pull up. Is this uncarbonated your... water? <laughs> Is yes, it, it okay, is, okay, thank it is God. just <laughs> water straight from a water bottle. Or the tap. Or the tap. Or yes. the glacier. Yes. <laughs> I'll shut up. <laughs> <Boop>. <laughs> I don't understand how they say you're supposed to drink eight cups of water a day, because I would throw up. <laughs> Next on our list is sparkling water. Ah. Yes. The one that they serve you in Europe. Yeah, you have to specify it. <laughs> Boob. <laughs> oh, the taste is awful. I hate the taste of sparkling water. Yeah, it just is, plain sparkling It is one of my least it's favorite not, things like, ever. It's like a very bitter taste almost. Yeah. 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 In the same category as sparkling water, we also have sparkling fruit drinks. Oh. Like, I like most fruit flavored carbonated drinks, I guess. I really hate LaCroix, but that's like the only one I can think of off LaCroix. the top of my head. <laughs> Don't you mean LaCroix? <laughs> LaCroix. Apple juice. Apple How much juice. do you guys like apple juice? Does this count apple cider? Just apple juice. Okay. Like if you just apple. squeezed an apple in your hands and sucked on it. <laughs> You're gonna have to have strong hands for that. I did that with the grapefruit ones. All right. I think it's it's a good juice, but it's not my favorite juice. All right, next up on the list is orange juice. This can be high pulp or no pulp. Any amount of pulp you like. I wonder what Kayla will say. <laughs> <laughs> You'll marry it, huh? If, well, if it's Redlands orange juice, it's sweet, it has like that summery warmth to it. You just can't replicate it. Next up in our juices are grape juice. Not counting wine, I take it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not the worst juice out there, but it's definitely not my favorite. Our last juice, a little bit of a doozy here. Oh boy. Clamato juice. Because <laughs> I told you you had to include that one. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, clamato juice is tomato? And clam. <laughs> what? <Wow. laughs> that sounds so disgusting. It is way that too sound, common that in the sounds grocery like, store. That sounds like an STD. <laughs> oh god, so... clamato. I can see that. I can't come to class today. I've got clamato jeans. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Apologies to those that like clamato juice. Yeah, I'm People sorry. Like clamato juice. They sell I, it they in sell... every grocery store. Someone must buy it if they sell it. All right, I think that just about wraps up our juice section. <laughs> Next up, we've got regular good old lemonade. For some reason, like, I just get headaches if I can. I'm surprised. It's sugary. Didn't you drink too much of it? Yeah, <laughs> at one point, and then my oh. body was just like, no, I don't want it anymore. Similar vein, we've got strawberry lemonade. Okay. Next up, we've got food smoothie. Food, food fruit, smoothie? Food or fruit? It's supposed to be fruit, but I apparently have a type of. Pretty yeah. good. Hmm. Well, how about vegetable smoothies? How much do you like them vegetables? Just straight vegetables. Yeah. Nothing else like, in it. You just put like carrots, kale, celery no apple. into the no. blender. <clears throat> <laughs> How about some sodas now? Soda. Yeah. First up is Coke. 
I see we have a descent. <laughs> it's not my favorite. I want to cope with Coke. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Next up, we've got Pepsi. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I would. I wouldn't even be able to tell you the difference. I. I probably could. <laughs> There was also a phase when I had Pepsi and then got really sick <laughs> and now don't like it anymore. All right, next up we've got Dr. Pepper. Also don't know the difference. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Yes, we also so. like grew up drinking it. So. Yes, <laughs> we practically lived off of it. Mr. Pib. Delaney's <laughs> like, what are you people talking about? Right? They're all just dark liquids. <laughs> Mr. Pip was the drink that I went to after I had my hiatus from Dr. Pepper. <laughs> it was your rebound? Yeah. Your rebound drink. Root, root beer. Root beer. Beer from the roots. It's an okay dark liquid. <laughs> there are certain flavors of root beer I just prefer more than others, I guess. Yeah. Like, with all these sodas, like... If they could have new high fructose corn syrup, that's right. amazing. Get your stuff together, America. <laughs> no. Root beer is one of those drinks that you can often find not with high fructose corn syrup. Though, yeah. So. Next up, we've got ginger soda. Like ginger yeah. ale? Yeah, like a ginger root soda. <laughs> Zero, one, two. I wouldn't drink it like every day though. It's really good for you. I wish I liked it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a weird taste. It's, so it's like intense. it's definitely yeah. It's definitely an acquired taste, I feel like. Yeah. Next up we've got some lemon lime flavored sodas. We've got Sprite. Sprite and Squirt. I'm gonna get a very bad score on this whole quiz. <laughs> yes, that the lady be. is the pickiest drinker. <laughs> I guess so. I will say I used to like Right? Or 7 up or... Yeah. At a camp once, we'd all get Sprite instead of water because they it was in the morning and they wouldn't allow us to get sodas. <laughs> and so we'd just Wait. get Sprite because it looked like water. It was just a little bubble. <laughs> it's sparkling water, I promise. Yeah, exactly. I take it, it wasn't in the can. No, <laughs> it was from like a fountain. <laughs> oh, okay. Italian soda. Any flavor. Any okay. flavor Italian soda. Clamato Italian <laughs> no. soda. Oh no. <laughs> I Why? <laughs> <laughs> that rounds out the sodas. Next up, we've got apple cider. Which kind? Alcoholic <laughs> and non alcoholic. Okay. We have so many <laughs> clarifications. <laughs> Honestly, oh, I just like cider of all kinds. Okay, I think I've been tallying this right. <laughs> Let's see. Next up, we're starting our teas. First up is green tea. <laughs> <laughs> the only green tea I really like is like matzo, but as far as like citrusy green teas, I just don't like them. Hmm. I thought you liked green tea. I like black tea. Wait, I don't know tea too well. Does all citrus tea include green tea? Not necessarily, but a lot of green teas are marketed as being citrusy. Is there a way to tell on the box if it's green tea or not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's going on? Oh lord, okay. <laughs> Is that green tea? I'm trying to figure it out. Hibiscus. What makes green tea green? Leaves? <laughs> I really cannot tell, Aww. to be honest. You said you could tell by the box. <laughs> you usually can. You can. You can brew this, and you would find out. <laughs> Wait, because it'll be green. Yeah, that's how you tell. <laughs> it'll look more yellowish, greenish, clear color. These ones to be are red. <laughs> okay, I don't know too much about tea. <laughs> All right, next up, K, black tea. <laughs> <laughs> So, black tea, <laughs> is it always black when it's brewed? It typically looks reddish brown, but it can also be a darker... Can you tell? <laughs> I can tell you this, the lavender K 
chamomile that you have is a black tea. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you. So you can't reject it. <laughs> I mean, I. If it's flavor. I'm also like just the person that also drinks like black tea without any sweetener, anyways. So. Next up, we've got Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey. I don't think I've had straight <laughs> Earl Grey before. You love Earl Grey? Yes. Is it gray? No. <laughs> what color is it then? It's the color of most black tea. Oh. And to round out our teas, just fruit tea. Just fruit <laughs> tea. <laughs> Yay! I don't need to ask dumb questions about this one. I just don't necessarily like the taste of fruit tea, if that makes sense. Uh, how do you guys like coffee? <laughs> coffee. What kind of coffee? Yes, this is like black coffee, like from black the coffee. coffee pot. No sugar. No. Well, cream. you could put coffee, like sugar in it, but it's not no like cream. a mocha or something like that. Can I put heaps of sugar in it? Sure. But at that point, it would be like, do you like coffee with your sugar? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> coffee. <laughs> I think the caffeine in coffee just doesn't do it for me like other people, and it just makes my mind freak out instead of actually giving me energy, so. It doesn't do anything to me. <laughs> I don't have sticky enough receptors or whatever. <laughs> you don't care about the caffeine. It's Your endorphin is oh. not having it. Yeah. So now, espresso. <clears throat> I don't think enough sugar can be put in it to make it sweet. Hot chocolate. We got it! And we love it. Mm. Wow. Blast. You, you really hot can't chocolate. go wrong with hot chocolate. You just can't. Take chocolate, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, melt it, and dilute it with milk, and you have the best cup of hot chocolate. I'm not disagreeing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is a mocha. Mocha, mocha, mocha. Mocha, mocha. I like them. As long as they're decaf. I don't mm. I don't go out of my way to drink them, but I like them. Next up we've got a latte. A latte. A latte latte. A latte latte. Yeah. Isn't, Isn't that, that just, just putting milk? <laughs> milk and coffee? I think so, right? So many different words for different amounts of milk you mm. put into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> so moving on to our next section of drinks, we've got the Ow. drunken stuff. The drunken stuff. I'm yep. about to be exposed. <laughs> First up is just plain old beer. This is why we have K here. It's <laughs> 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 not just straight zeros all the way through. Yep, alcohol is just not our deal. Next up, we've got red wine. <laughs> <laughs> our apologies to the people who gift us red wine. <laughs> it has an interesting aftertaste, I guess. Because they squish the grapes with their feet. <laughs> it's just more bitter, I guess. There was a toenail in that scene. <laughs> <laughs> now, white wine, posed from red wine. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference in taste between it's a little them? sweeter. It's sweeter. Yeah. And also, red wine has more of a dry taste, I want to say. But okay. I could be wrong. It's a liquid that's dry. All right. Next up, we've got vodka. Vodka. Wait, is this like with mixer or is this just like a straight this shot? This is just straight, straight vodka. Okay. Just, you take the bottle and just... Champagne. Bubbly. 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 That joke is <laughs> done. <laughs> no. <laughs> Every time you're on the vlog, okay? All right. It's okay. Give me the it sparkling kind of, cider, please. It, it's kind of tasteless ah. to me, honestly, but. Now, I will say like using like you, champagne or wines and cooking is pretty cool, but I don't think that counts as drinking it, so. Next up, we've got sake. I like the containers that come in. <laughs> I've never had it, but I would definitely in. try it. I've had it. Don't try it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> we were at a hibachi grill and the guy decided to squirt sake into oh, my mouth. Oh, is that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I refuse to open my mouth for that. <laughs> and it got all over my shirt. All right, so I think that rounds out our alcoholic section. Oh. Now that we're- uh, Felt so short. <laughs> our cellar is empty. <laughs> Next up, we've got just milk. 
milk. How do you like drinking milk straight from the gutter? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's rice milk? I guess so, or almond milk, yeah, that's or true. Or milk. Yeah, that would change my answer. It's milk, whatever you interpret that to be. I mean, I'm lactose intolerant, but I like killing myself anyways with milk. What? <laughs> Next up we got chocolate milk. It's not chocolatey enough. You're so no. picky about your chocolate. I know. <laughs> I like a very few amount of things, but in large quantities. Ovaltine was my jam as a kid. Yeah. I'm very picky with my chocolate milks because some yeah, are just like, the other blah, and others are like, yeah. Milkshakes. Ah. Do you guys like milkshakes? Yeah. Because I like them. <laughs> Similar vein, we've got floats. You put in your oh. ice cream and you put in <laughs> oh something else. Oh my gosh, else. be more eager, Kay. <laughs> Very enthusiastic. Kay's like, where's the three? <laughs> Root beer floats are the bomb.com. They are, they are nice. I haven't used that saying in like five years. <laughs> All right, guys, are you ready for our last one? Yes. Yeah. Yes. This one's a very seasonal treat that is... Is it like a pumpkin spice latte? <laughs> it's eggnog. Oh. Ah. Uh. I personally don't like the milk. I like it with brandy. I'm not being very fair because I've never tried it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that's so, it. That's Tools. it. Wow. So, yeah, so now we need to count up how picky we are. Mine's easy to count because I have a lot of zeros. <laughs> Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> no! I got it. You got it? Yeah. We got it! <laughs> All right. So, well, who should we start with? I want to guess who's the least picky. I think Kay has the highest number. Yeah. And then you have the middle, and I'm, I'm the one who doesn't drink. <laughs> I got 42. 42. You got about a third. That's not. Thank you. <laughs> that means a lot to me. I got 55. Okay. All right. So I'm not as picky as no. you are. I got 76. Oh, wow. that was right. <laughs> Dang. Wow. To be honest, I was expecting there to be more categories on the alcohol thing. So I was like, oh. I'm going to be very exposed. I was expecting the less sodas. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't mention mango juice, and it's my favorite. What's your score? <laughs> I know, yeah. Take the quiz linked below and figure out how picky of a drinker you are. Yeah. Do you like clamato juice? Yeah. I, I just Tell thought... us what you like about clamato juice. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that your new year has been off to a great start. Yeah. And don't forget to tune in next Friday when we do something else. Something. Thanks for hosting. Oh, well, thanks for being here. Thanks, thanks for, for joining <laughs> us, Kay. How much can we thank, thank each other thank, for? Thank, <laughs> anyway. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>